Hello guys and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am making a Vlogmas edition empties video. If you don't know what an empties video is, I'm basically going to be showing you products that I have used up and I'm going to let you know whether I liked it, if I didn't like it, why didn't I like it, would I repurchase it. For today's Vlogmas edition, we are going to be chatting about some really good products that if you are in the market for I would highly recommend going and trying these out I think out of the lot there is maybe one that is a little bit just just a little bit so if you want to see what these products are then just keep on watching okay guys let's chat about product number one and it is the essence brighten up banana powder when I hit pan on this product I went and I got myself another one of these. I didn't even wait for it to finish because that is just how much I really, really loved this product. So this is something that you would apply underneath the eyes and it just brightens up your under eyes so much. It's great if you have dark circles underneath your eyes. And also what I really liked about it is that it didn't enhance any pores. It made my makeup look so flawless. Empty number two is so random guys, but hear me out. Have, have you seen this? Have you seen this? <laughs> this is called the Fine Fragrance Collection. And you can pick this up from, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you a second. I'll give you a second to think where you can pick this up from. From Checkers. From Checkers and J. What? <laughs> Checkers is now selling perfume, guys. I actually had a client that bought this for me and I was so surprised. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's very plain Jane packaging, but the product that's inside here, oh my gosh. These perfumes last forever. They smell amazing. And guys, it's from Checkers. It's, it's, it's damn affordable. The perfume that my client got me says that it is inspired by Ellie Saab. So the perfumes are kind of like ripples of designer perfumes but let me tell you that this perfume just lasted so long there's a lot of perfumes to choose from like a lot if you are on a budget and if you are a perfume hoe like i am then go and check these out <laughs> This was so weird, but it's an empty and I loved it and I just wanted to show you guys it. The next two empties are empties that I have shown you before, so I'm going to show you them both at the same time. It is, uh, it's nasty, I know, just, just forget about it, okay? Let's look past beyond that. And it is the Essence Liquid Ink Liquid Eyeliner and this Kala or Kala Beauty Sponge. I have shown this before on an empties video. These two products are just so good, guys. I would put my head on the chopping block for these products. The fourth empty beauty product is a skincare product that I have been loving so much, but I think that it is discontinued. And it is the Vichy Pure Pure Purity. That's how you say it. <laughs> Purity. The Mel. <laughs> And this is a beautifying cleansing micellar oil. So as the name suggests, this is an oil cleanser that you would use on your face before you wash it and it just melts all that makeup off your face. However, if you do have quite strong, stubborn and even waterproof mascara, this can leave a little bit of it behind on your eyelashes. But for everything else, it just melts it away and it leaves your skin feeling so incredibly soft and it doesn't aggravate the skin because this is also for sensitive skin. Now, like I said, I think this has been discontinued in this packaging. Do not take my word for it. But I think there's something else like this, just in different packaging. Also, let's have a little bit of a chin wag while we're at it. Did any of you guys notice that Vichy South Africa has gone MIA on Instagram? They, they, 
I don't know where they went to. I really like their products and I really want to try out more of their products. But they, 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 they gone. They're just gone off Instagram. Now, how am I going to know what I, what I want to try? Empty number five is the Essence Satin Touch Blush. And this is in the shade 30 Satin Bronze. So I loved using this blush as a contour shade and like a bronzing shade. It was just so beautiful. It gave my skin such a healthy glow without it looking too muddy or too orange. But I must say, like it Essence 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 please i don't care if i have to pay five or ten rand more for a product just can we do something about some of your packaging because this isn't the first time that this has happened okay it's happened with lip glosses where i've just tried to open up the lid and the whole thing's broken off this ch uh, can we we love the product some of the packaging just it needs some tlc okay Empty number six is the Catrice Prime and Fine Beautifying Primer. Oh my gosh, guys, I have had this primer in my collection for a little bit too long. It's actually just a little bit questionable, but I love it so much. It is so beautiful and it gives your skin the most gorgeous glow. It, re it really does. I must say, though, that it doesn't really like make your makeup last extra long so however long your makeup lasts for that's how long it's going to last but if you need just a little bit of hydration and a little bit of a pick me up and glow to your skin then this was the real deal for that now i do believe that this primer is discontinued i couldn't find it on the shelf for quite some time which is probably why i was really trying to stretch this out but i have seen that there's something on the catrice shelf that looks very very similar to this however it doesn't say that it's a beautifying primer i mean it's it's the exact same packaging it's the same color over here it's the same lid like everything but it says pores no more or some, something to do with the pores okay empty number seven is this bougie ass hand cream by la occitane la occitane however you want to say it okay however you want to say it it is the la occitane la occitane whatever it wants to call itself light comforting cream <sighs> just for all time's sake guys this stuff smells like a bougie ass expensive baby covered in diamonds it smells so good i really loved this hand cream i needed so little product it spread so well on my hands and what i loved about it is that it just absorbed so quickly one thing that irritates me about hand creams is when you put hand cream on and it just it just sits there. It, it doesn't want to get soaked up by the skin. So it creates like this layer of sticky gooiness. This hand cream, however, did not do that. Like as soon as I put it on, it just got absorbed very, very quickly. It took away any dryness I was feeling in my hands, which is so important to me because I work with chemicals. I would really recommend getting this as a present for someone that you know that really likes skincare and really does enjoy their hand creams. I, I would really highly recommend this. Empty number eight is this Aven Thermal Spring Water. You know, at first I thought that this was like a gimmicky product because it's, it's, it's literally water in a can. But I must say that there's just something about this product. There's actually a lot of ways that you can use this. You can use this after washing your face and spritz it on. And if there's any sensitivity, it just calms the skin immediately. You can also use this over makeup to get rid of that powderiness. And I was a little bit hesitant at first, but it works beautifully. The only thing is that I don't like the way that it sprays out if you are going to use it to set your makeup the second to last empty has been through the most like they, there's no writing on it guys so just excuse that and it is the essence lash princess mascara this is by far one of my favorite mascaras that i own well owned it's 
finished now. I just have so many mascaras in my makeup collection that I need to get through, but this is most definitely on a repurchase list. I don't know, I feel like some people don't like this mascara, but I loved it. I loved it so much. I just love that wand that they have. It just really snugly goes to the root of the lashes. It makes my lashes look full, it makes it look long, and it makes it look beautiful. It's everything and more for what I need in a mascara, it really is. Okay guys, we are now down to the very last empty, and this is the uh, product, the, the, the product where you use it and you're just like, <sighs> and it is the Sorbet Firming Body Wash Age Control. Guys, f first of all, f first, first of all, when did we get to the point that we needed our shower gels to be an anti-aging? Like, huh? Listen, if, if you think, if you think, okay, that, that a body wash is gonna anti-age all, all of this, <laughs> well, well then go right ahead then. You, you do you, boo-boo. But besides that, this body wash was just a little bit disappointing for me. It says here with pomegranate, rooibos, and cranberry oil, like that to me sounds like it is gonna smell amazing. But the smell is kind of lackluster and disappointing and I was just hoping to have more of that cranberry smell and fruity, smell to it it just eh, it, it just didn't do it for me also not only that the thing the thing didn't even foam up so there we go guys that is my christmas empties i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video is there any products that i showed you that you have tried or wanting to try if so let me know in the comment section down below don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already but anyway until next time bye